something I've always struggled with and I don't know if you have had the same issues but I always struggle to read the Bible and to study the Bible and it's something that I've always struggled with. I've never been able to memorise scripture, I've never really 100% enjoyed diving into the word and understanding what the word is saying and um, that's what we're going to be um, talking about today. So I've tried many different techniques, I've tried putting a post-it note up. I've tried doing different um, Bible studies and um, meeting with different people to like get their sort of uh, wisdom about um, scripture but it nothing really ever sticked until one day a um, preacher came, a guest preacher came to my previous church and he spoke about the Bible and he said most Christians what they will do is they will buy a lovely beautiful Bible and then they will put it on their shelf and that Bible will gather dust and it won't do anything because they forget to really dive into that and he said actually what should happen is this book should become so worn out and so tatty that within a couple of years you have to keep replacing it because you need to have this in your hand every single day and as it says in the Lord's Prayer this needs to become your daily bread this needs to be what you take from God every single day is you grab this and you take a slice of bread and you consume it. And so that was something that really changed my view on um, scripture because he also said the thing is is that when the enemy, when the devil comes knocking and he whispers lies into your head and you start to believe them because you haven't actually learned what God says in here to dispel those lies and um, the voice that you hear um, you don't recognize that it's actually a voice of a stranger because you haven't gotten to know what God's voice sounds like and the only way that we can do that is by constant communication with God so that is prayer but also getting to know what his promises are and as promises are in the word in scripture and that's what we're going to be looking at today so going back to Joshua he spent most of his life in adversity and going through hardships but actually by the end of his life he was able to see God's promise completely fulfilled and then being able to get to the promised land and that's something that he encouraged the Israelites to do is to dwell on God's promises remember the declarations that God has for you and over your life so the thoughts that you fill your head with and the declarations that you um, uh, have over yourself and over your life will really influence the way that you behave and the way that you live your life and the way that you view the world but also the way that you view God. So ensuring that you you dwell on God's promises and you remember them um, fervently and, and ferociously as you look through scripture. So you need to start to remember um, um, uh, his promises so that when you go through your daily life you recognize God's blessings you recognize the things that he has done for you and you recognize the things that God um, has provided for you um, and so during your um, situation whether you are fighting an invisible battle um, like fertility issues or depression or anxiety or um, broken families uh, you can try to um, focus on the declarations and the promises God has in the scripture so that you can recognize actually the blessings that are around the battle. So as we go forward from um, today, um, I just want you to remember some of God's promises. So we're going to um, look at some of those in scripture now and um, we're going to really dwell on them and, and think about them and what they mean for you in your life at the moment. So in Psalms 55, 22, it says that he will sustain you. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Then in Philippians 4, 7, it says that the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So the peace that um, makes no sense will be uh, pierced through your heart and be um, will dwell in your mind and, and stay there once you know um, Jesus and understand the scripture. 
in Zephaniah 3, 17, it says, The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but rejoice over you with singing. I love that verse because it means that God absolutely loves the very bones of you. He delights in you. He is proud of you and he um, He sings over you. He covers you with his singing, which I just think is a beautiful picture of God. Then in Psalms 32, 8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. So in every situation, we can reach out to our Heavenly Father and he will instruct us on the place to go. But remembering to always use scripture because scripture will speak to you always as well. And whenever you feel like you have a message from God, it's always good to double check the word to see if that message really was from God and getting to know God's voice in all of that. In Psalms 46, 1, it says, God is our refuge and strength and ever how ever present help in trouble so that means that God is um, just a, a place to run to and a place of strength whenever we're going through a really tough time and then the next one is Romans 8 37 to 39 no in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that, that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present or the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. That is one powerful verse. Um, absolutely amazing that it doesn't matter what is going on, that God is always stronger and more powerful than anything on this earth or in the spiritual realm and that is just such a comforting thing to remember that God is completely powerful over every aspect of um, our lives in the past or in the future. Deuteronomy 31 6 be strong and courageous do not be afraid or terrified because of them for the Lord your God goes with you he will never leave you or forsake you so God is constantly with us no matter where we go or what we do he is just always there with us and he goes before us he is with us and he's within us a lot of the time I like to think of the Trinity like that where I think of um, God the Father going before me and clearing the way for me so that I can um, go about about my life and live my life um, under his protection and his guidance and then I like to think of Jesus as standing beside me walking with me journeying with me and being that loving presence and then I like to think of the Holy Spirit is within me lives in me is sometimes my voice my guidance and um, helps me to remember that I am loved and that is then God is always with me then John 1, 4, 18, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. So that's amazing that God's love can banish out any fear. So whenever we're feeling anxious, frustrated, angry, if we've got COVID fatigue, that we can just call on God and we can call on him to love us and love us completely so that his love surrounds us and just makes us feel um, so much better. And lastly, Philippians 1, 6. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Now, that's just really reassuring, isn't it, that um, he's not done with us yet, that 
we're alive and we're breathing. And that means that God is not finished with you yet. In fact, one of my favorite pastors, um, Bill Wilson, uh, once said to, to um, a, a group of us, a group of us children's workers, that um, if you're alive in the morning, then God isn't finished with you yet. You're not done yet. Your mission is not done yet. And that is a really important message to remember. So just remembering those promises, God will sustain you. God's peace will guard your heart. God delights over you with singing. God will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. God is your refuge and your strength, your help in times of need. All things that you are more than conquerors because of God who loves you. God will never leave you or forsake you. God's perfect love casts out all fear and anxiety. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. And God is not done with you yet. God's not done with you. He is not done with you. So let's pray together now. God, I am so thankful that the scriptures are filled with your promises. Help me to cling to what is true. Remind me of your faithfulness. When I'm tempted to forget what you've done or how you've shown yourself faithful, cause my heart to remember and keep me steadfast. Help me to remember how vitally important your word is. Help me to take it in like daily bread. Amen.